Hey there, here are your top news stories from eWeek. Apple has denied a security researcher's claim that its iOS devices collect a lot of personal data without users' knowledge. At the recent Hackers on Planet Earth conference, security researcher Jonathan Zdarsky discussed some back doors he believes he's found into iOS by way of some of those previously undocumented diagnostic features. One feature discussed was the com.apple.pcatp function, which starts a libpcap service on a user's iOS device. The libpcap service is an open source packet sniffer technology, and Zdarsky questioned why it's on every iOS device. Starsky expressed concern that some of these features may have been used by the National Security Agency to collect data on potential targets. For its part, Apple explained that PCAT-P supports diagnostic packet capture from an iOS device to a trusted computer and is useful for troubleshooting and diagnosing problems. During a recent Apple earnings conference, an analyst asked Apple CEO Tim Cook whether the iPhone trade-in programs were resulting in sales of lower-cost used and refurbished phones that might be negatively impacting sales of new iPhone 5 units. Cook explained that iPhones sold as a result of such trade-in programs were hugely beneficial to Apple and give people who Cook described as cost-sensitive access to iPhones. Oracle has launched Linux 7, which provides users with a freely available enterprise-grade Linux distribution. Linux 7 is based on the recent Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 distribution released on June 10th. This means Linux 7 inherits many of the same new features, but it has some different features as well. For instance, the XFS file, which enables a file system to scale up to 500 terabytes, is the default. Tails Linux distribution issued its 1.1 update on July 22nd, providing multiple security fixes. Tails, which is an acronym that stands for the Amnesic Incognito Live system, is focused on enabling user privacy while online. However, security research firm Exodus Intelligence found a vulnerability in the Invisible Internet Project component used by Tails. This vulnerability could enable an attacker to de-anonymize a Tails user. Thanks for watching. Follow the links on this page to learn more about the stories mentioned in this broadcast and check back every weekday for another daily tech briefing from eWeek.com.